All right, here we go, Iman Shumpert. Welcome back to Vlad TV. Good to have you back, man. We went viral last time. We did? That that LeBron, that LeBron part of the interview. We talked about his basketball IQ. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's always uh, people like hold on to everything you say if it's concerning LeBron. So. Yeah. Well, you know. Crazy. I mean, you got an important voice out there. Mm -hmm. I guess so. It starts a cool conversation, though. Anything we talk about, as long as it's, I'm always down to have a conversation. I've never really scurried away from that. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's talk about what's happening right now. We're in the middle of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got the Celtics versus, uh, versus right. the Heat. And then you have Dallas versus Golden State. Mm -hmm. What do you think is going to happen? I would have to. I gotta see. Um, I gotta see what Dallas does. Uh, give me until after game one. You yeah. Have to tweet me or something. Give me till after game one because uh, I don't know. Luca and uh, Brunson in the playoffs have been really impressive, and it's gonna be interesting to see what lineup uh, Golden State goes with. Like I, I just feel like it can, they can transform their lineup in ways that other people can't mm. with their personnel, and it's going to be interesting to see because sometimes Dallas mixes it up with their lineups. They'll play small ball with you, and it looks pretty good. Um, so I, I, I think I'm going to be. I just want to see the first matchup just so I can get a feel for how it's going to be played, uh, at least what they're going to throw at them. Uh, I, I would say if I if I could go off right now, I think it's going to be a Warriors uh, Celtics matchup. Mm, okay, I mean you actually have a lot of experience with this. Most of the current lineup from the Warriors, yeah. you know, I mean, you actually said you, you hated that team. Yeah. And you were playing them. Oh yeah, I was supposed to hate. <laughs> the, the basketball guys told me to hate. Like I was supposed to hate them with all my heart. I mean, what was it about them you hated so much? They was a different version of basketball. How it was, so? It was different. It was they they the, how we all learned is how you know it's like that traditional way of life. Why not go and get the easy points at the rim, and then you know as you start heating up and getting more of a feel, then you shoot your deep shot. You know what I'm saying? Right. And they had completely butchered that mold. <laughs> right, with Steph. And said, yeah, when the jump ball goes off, we hot from three. <laughs> they and just outscore you. Yeah, that pisses me, that pissed me off. I, that, I didn't, because I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't think to do that when I was a kid. So a little bit of it is that. Like, why well, didn't I think of that? Like, I never <laughs> liked shooting threes. I always wanted to look tough and go to the rim. Like, mm. I felt like that was how the game was played, all willpower. I always felt like defensively, I was like, I want three fouls at least, bro, like, to let me know I'm trying to impose my will. Like, I'm not trying to just let you have the game. You know what I mean? I felt like that was a version that the guys I was around, Kyrie, JR, I felt like these are the guys that this is, this version makes sense. Braun back down at the end of the game. Like, this is what we grew up watching. Mike all them playing the post. This is how you got to win. Mm -hmm. And then here come these guys like, no, nah, we'll shoot it from half court. <laughs> And it was working. Like, you you know, you tell everybody, you know, you live and die by the three. Like, you tell everybody that, and then they win. And it's like, I hate y'all. 